that all sorts of people, you can have the grandparents that come to us to buy a small gold coin for their grandchild 18th birthday or 21st birthday, up to the, fa the family office that have under management 600 mid million pounds and decide to put 2% of their holding in physical bars and coins. It's a wide variety of people. The first chemical will take a, away the base metals and the second chemical will take away the silver. So you are just left with gold. The grain is the final product of the refinery. Then they start the manufacturing. Whatever metal we're talking, you melt the grain again and you cast it. You cast it into stripes of metal that is one metal that is called minted. You make a strip of metal and then you cut it in shape. You can cut it in the shape of the bar, you can cut it in the shape of a coin, different sizes. And the other metal is casting. You put the grain like in a mold, you put it twice through a machine and then you open the lid and you have your little bars, cast bars.
the smallest bar that we make is the one gram bar. That is the size of your SIM card. And it's arrived at today's price is 31 pounds. They buy it as a gift. They buy it because they want to begin to invest in gold in a small way. They want to try how easy it is to buy gold. And the biggest bar that we make here is a five kilogram bar. 160,000 roughly. In the manufacturing processes, because we mill, we file uh, our bars and our coins, you have a lot of re residues of metal flying around because they have weight, they drop to the floor and people tend to carry them on their shoes. We have filters in all the air system and all the w water system. At the end of the year, to close our stock figures, we burn all those filters as well as the mat that is between the manufacturing site and the offices. And every year we recoup metal between three and four thousand pounds from those filters and that mat. And also the workers use specific colors of overalls and, and we wash them here every day. And then that metal is trapped in the water filters that we have. 